All right, my friends, it has been one week since the election. If you are having a hard time digesting this Donald Trump sandwich, and I do not blame you, if you are having a hard time, I want to offer you these words and thoughts. I hope they help. So the main reason I believe many of us, many of you, are having a hard time swallowing this sandwich, of perhaps it's a sandwich of hate, of fear. Uh, the reason is because you have been eating it for so long, been taking big, big bites of it, not just for the past seven days, but for the past several months, through what you watch, through what you say and do, through conversations, eating it up, eating it up, and now it's just really hard to digest it. For me, I know things that I really don't like politically. I'll just give one example, say the president's targeted killing program, drone bombing around the world, places like Yemen and Somalia and northern Pakistan. This, when I focus on it, when I go several weeks or months and talk about it, look at it on YouTube, um, it fills my awareness. I become more and more bitter. Now, I'm not saying that the drone bombing is a good thing. I'm not saying that I should not work to, to end it. And I do think I should try to spread awareness around it. So that's, that's a whole separate issue. But being mindful about how much I focus on it, on the hate and the, the, the stuff I do not like, and how much it fills my thoughts and emotions all the time. If I can be aware of that, that helps me go forward with more peace, with more equanimity and balance. And by doing that, of course, I'm more effective and able to concentrate my energy towards positive things, towards creative things, like making videos, like doing interviews, and working towards ending the things I don't like and bringing about the, the peaceful things that I do want. Over the past several months, many of you have been without realizing it, without intending it, focusing on hate, Donald Trump's hatred, your hatred of Donald Trump, and all the mean, vicious things surrounding that. Why have you done this? I think there's a couple of reasons. You weren't really happy with Hillary Clinton as a candidate. You could not focus so much on positive things about her, so instead you had to focus on negative things about her her opponent. The other reason, maybe you were happy with her. Maybe you loved Hillary Clinton as your first choice, but a lot of your friends within the Democratic Party had negative things to say about her. So again, you had to focus on the Republican candidate. Because after all, nothing brings people together, nothing unites people like hatred of a common enemy. So again, I'm not trying to talk you into thinking that the Donald Trump sandwich is a good sandwich. In Buddhist terms, the three causes of suffering are craving, resistance, and ignorance. Has there been a lot of craving around this election for you? Check in with yourself and ask if that is true. Were you really wanting Bernie Sanders to be the candidate and then you were denied that? Were you really wanting something different from Hillary Clinton? Just a question. Resistance, we already talked about the resistance uh, to Donald Trump and anything around him and that he might represent. Now, ignorance, I don't mean stupidity. I just mean an unawareness of something that is. Donald Trump's election certainly took me and many of you by surprise. I think the polling, the projections, everything leading up to the election itself, we just did not know how mistaken uh, that all was. So that unawareness, that possibility, just the even possibility that he would actually, could actually become president, that we couldn't even allow that in our minds as a possibility. So there was a, there was a blind spot, there was an ignorance there. So those three things, the craving, the resistance, the ignorance, I think this was kind of a perfect storm of suffering uh, that has erupted, <laughs> to mix my metaphors, over the past week since this election. I hope an awareness around these things, um, how much you have been, if you have been eating at that hate sandwich for so long, how much suffering there is right now. I hope it helps to alleviate the suffering. I hope it brings a, a, a balance, an evenness going forward in whatever is next for, for healing, for effectiveness, and most of all, for peace. Peace, my friend. Namaste.